Well, the U.S. Senate Foreign Relations Committee is holding a hearing Thursday on South Sudan and its current state of failed leadership. Among the people testifying at the proceedings are State Department Special Envoy to Sudan and South Sudan Donald uh, Booth, uh, former Special Envoy to Sudan and South Sudan, Princeton Lyman, and Adutea Akoye, Managing Director of Government Relations at Amnesty International USA. Senator Bob Cocker of Tennessee had these early remarks. And a seeming resolution to civil war. Why has the leadership of the current president and the former <coughs> vice president cho chosen to mimic the malign cartoon policies of ethnic hatred and targeting of civilians to tear apart their newly independent country? With 1.6 million people displaced internally and an additional 750,000 having fled the country, how do these purported leaders justify their involvement in fomenting such bloodshed and the resulting humanitarian crisis? Well, Senator Ben Cadden from the state of Maryland also commented on the situation in South Sudan. Uh, we are concerned about stability in that part of the world. And we are prepared to be generous and invest resources for it to work. But we're gonna have to ask hard questions. And that is, looking at the returns, are these investments the best use of U.S. resources? We're going to have to ask hard questions because this brutality just cannot continue. But both warring factions have accused the other of violating a permanent ceasefire signed in the wake of a peace deal inked by President Salva Kiir and rebel leader Rek Machar. 